My name is Jed McKeon, and today we're going to talk about parole, what it is and how it works. All right, so you've heard of the terms parole and probation. They sound very similar. You might think they have similar meanings. They're similar, but they are not the same. All right, so if someone is sentenced to serve jail time or prison time, really, in Tennessee, they will say they are convicted of a crime that carries a 10-year sentence and they've never been arrested before. So they will become parole eligible after they have served 30% of that sentence in under Tennessee law. Uh, so that sounds surprising to most people. So that means that after that person who's been sentenced to 10 years for the offense they've committed will be eligible for parole, which means they will get kicked out of prison and serve the rest of their sentence reporting to a parole officer after they've only done three years on a 10 year sentence. And that's shocking, surprising to people, but it, it's across the board, that's the law in Tennessee. Now you're only eligible to become to come out on parole after you've done 30% of your sentence. And most people do not get parole the first time they apply for it, okay? But that's when you become eligible. You might very well, if you're if they don't think you're a good candidate for parole, make you serve the whole 10 years. But at some point, sometimes generally people get kicked out to parole to supervision. So what happens when someone's on parole? Well, they'll have somebody to report to. They'll, they'll have sentencing uh, and reporting guidelines that they have to complete, clean drug screens, get a job, have stable housing. Those are some general things. Now, probation as opposed is what you get to do before you go to jail and parole is after you've done some amount of time in prison or jail, then you're kicked out on parole. Okay. You still have the same reporting guidelines, but one is before your sentence. One is after your sentence. You can find out more about this legal issue and other legal issues by going to my website, attorney-knoxville.com. You can listen to my podcast in session with Jed McKeon in the iTunes store. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter, and you can check out my other YouTube videos.